This weapon has one of the most useful handles in Lies of P, and that's why in this video I will show you how to get the Dancer's Curved Sword. But first, if you like this content, please consider subscribing and liking the video, and feel free to catch me on Twitch as we stream multiple times a week. To get this weapon, you first need to get through the first Black Rabbit Brotherhood fight and make it all the way to Rosa Isabel Street entrance in Chapter 6. From the first Stargazer in the area, make your way through the level normally, playing attention to the enemies, the exploding dolls in particular, and continue going until you reach a corner that is filled with bomb throwing puppets, you can try to heal or make your way through the enemies, or you can just proceed normally by killing the white lady, following the gate that opens on the side, go up the stairs, make a left turn, and enter a small area that will lead you to the gate that you can open. This way the enemies will not notice you and you will be free to pick up the swords. As if being beautiful wasn't enough, this sword has a B scaling in technique, which can be improved further with a corresponding crank, it has a pretty cool fable art on the blade, with retreating slash, but the handle is where it's at. Guard parry and guard parrying in general is one of the most important fable arts and techniques that you can use in this game. By holding the guard button and then pressing the fable art button at the right time, you will not only perform a perfect parry and destroy your enemy's posture, but you will also deal damage in return. At the cost of one fable slot, you definitely want to keep this handle on your menu. If you like this video, please consider following me and catch me live for more gaming-related content.